Yo, we're back with another really sick pocket-sized dry herb vape. This is the brand new Lobo from Planet of the Vapes. This is a dry herb and concentrates vaporizer, so you can vape whatever you want in this little thing. And I've reviewed some other stuff from Planet of the Vapes on this channel before that I really liked a lot, but the Lobo is a new and improved model of their old stuff. It's only been out for a month, and I've heard that this thing is awesome. And I really love these little pocket vapes like this because they're just so convenient and they make your flower last so much longer. Like a vape is just way more efficient than a lighter, but I haven't even tried this out yet. So let's open the box and see what's in here. First, we got our little sleeve. We have a lid that pops right open. Ooh, nice. The vape is right in top. Wow, that looks nice. I really love this color. I got the green one, but there are a few different colors. I know there's a blue one too. That one looks pretty cool, but I really love this green. It's like a hunter green, a forest green. It's sick. We got a new button design with a nice rubber shield over all three buttons. It says Lobo on the power button. Still have our familiar slide off top rail with our little glass attachment. So you can pop this glass attachment off and put any glass attachment you want in here. And I have a bunch of attachments we're about to look at in a second. This just slides right on with two little rails and it's held in place with a magnet. They're really easy to pop on and off. If we look down inside of here, wow, that's big. Here's our heating chamber. This is where all the fun stuff happens. And this is where we'll load our dry herbs in. And this chamber is so much bigger than the chamber on like the Planet of the Vapes 1. It's probably double the size. Like I can fit my whole fingertip down in there. On the other side near the bottom is our USB-C charging port. And then on the very bottom of the unit are a few holes for airflow and a little door. So I guess we can change out the battery. What else we got in here? an accessories kit box. Okay, first we have a little wooden handle cleaning brush that says Planet of the Vapes. That'll be handy. We have a little tool to stir our flour and maybe scoop some concentrates with and our USB-C to USB-C charging cable. We have a pack of replacement screens and a backup O-ring. And this right here is for our concentrates. If we open this up and take a closer look, you can see it's just like a little, almost like a tiny little Brillo pad wire mesh. And we'll put this down in our heating chamber if we wanna use concentrates. So you put this in the bottom and you put your concentrate right on top. And then when it melts, it just sort of soaks up into this mesh and vaporizes off of here. And we also have a little dosing capsule. So if we open this up, you can see this is just a little capsule with a lid and pop the lid off and fill this full of flour. And you don't have to use this little dosing capsule if you don't want to. You can put your ground herbs just directly into the heating chamber. You could probably fit a little more in there if you don't use the little chamber. But I like the dosing capsule because you can just look load this thing up and have it ready to go. So when you're ready to use the vape again, you just plop this down in here and you're ready. But I also like it because when you're done with the vape, you just turn it upside down and it comes out and it doesn't leave any flour or any residue down in your vape. Your vape looks brand new if you use this thing or it stays looking new for a lot longer. And these things are super easy to clean because you can just easily soak them in some alcohol. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here while it's empty and there's no ground herb in it. And I'm gonna see if this battery's charged. One two, three clicks to turn it on. It vibrated like hell and it is charged almost all the way. It's set to 380. I'm gonna change that to the highest temp it will go and then I'm gonna let it run on a whole session just to like do a burn off. They suggest doing that in the book. Just a good practice, you know, to sanitize your heating chamber. Okay, we did our burn off. We got our flour in here. We're set to 410. We're heated up, just vibrated to let me know. Let's see how this thing rips. Ooh, I can already smell it. Oh, it smells so good. First one's never the best, but it still hit pretty good. Wow, that tastes good. Rips, dude. Oh yeah, can you even see that in the camera? Cause it's ripping. And with this big ass chamber in here, I bet this thing will just hit a million times. Very nice. 
And if you notice, I haven't been pushing the button since I turned it on. There's a session timer and there's just an on the go. So like you can hit the button and it'll heat up while you're holding the button. On the session timer, it just heats up and it stays hot. So you just put your flour in there and you can just like sit here and puff on this casually like I've been doing. You could pass it around to friends. But I like the session timer because this chamber needs to heat up a little bit anyways before you hit it. So I just don't prefer like holding the button and waiting on it to heat up. Turn this back on now that I'm done talking. Shouldn't take long to heat back up. No, this thing heats up really fast. And this is sick because even though it has this big ass chamber, like bigger than just about any pocket size vape I've ever seen. But this thing is like the whole thing is still really small. So I can fit this in my pocket and still go blow clouds of vapor. I can still have really long sessions and the battery lasts for a long time. So I don't have to worry about recharging it every time I use it. Dude, just smoking. Like after you have it, uh, the chamber on there and you use it a little longer, it just, it just hits better and better. It's like as that flower has a chance to warm up more thoroughly, start really getting some big hits. <coughs> it's like the opposite of a bowl. When you put it in the bowl, it's gonna, you're gonna get diminishing returns. When you put it in the vape, it just gets harder and harder until then it's finally gone. And then even when it's gone, you're already been vaped flour. You can use that to make edibles and stuff. Vapes are just cool for a few reasons. And this thing is still hitting. I don't know if I've left all of the hits in the final edit, but I've hit it 20 times probably on that one little chamber. How do you smoke such a small amount of flour so many times? Vapes, that's how, with vapes. But this little black mouthpiece, that comes off. And then I can put all these other mouthpieces in here. Like I have this pink water bubbler. So you can just take this water bubbler right here, pop that right in the top. Now you got a portable water bubbler. Do, 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 do. Or you can take this frosted water pipe adapter. I have the purple one, which looks really sick. You put this right in the top of there. And now, since you have this frosted glass attachment that's three different sizes, this will fit into your favorite glass. It'll go in a big water pipe, a little rig, whatever you want to put it in. And since this does have that little concentrate thing, you can use this in your rig for concentrates just like you would anything else. And when you combine this Lobo with some nice glass, that's when you start getting really monster hits. And I did get all kinds of accessories with this when I ordered this, but you can also get free stuff when you order this too. I've got all of this from Planet of the Vapes, which you have seen featured on this channel before. And if you've never heard of Planet of the Vapes, they're just like a vaporizer mega website that sells all kinds of stuff. They're an authorized dealer for some of the very best brands in the game, like Stores and Bickle. They've been around for over 10 years. They have good prices and really fast shipping. Plus anything that's over $25, they'll ship to you for free. And a lot of their vapes even ship with like some free mystery item. And like some other places, they have a no questions asked full return policy. So if you don't like what you bought, you can send it back to them and get a full refund, even if you've been using the vape already. So that's sick. I like this thing a lot. This is another win from Planet of the Vapes, just like everything else I've tried from them, like this vape. If you like the Lobo, you're gonna love this vape. So make sure you watch this video. I'll see you there. And big thank you to all of the channel members on the Strange Show Patreon. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and helping me make these videos.